All right, in this video, we'll quickly create a joke skill within minutes and be eligible to win some cool rewards. Okay, while watching me create this skill, at various times, I'll tell you to pause the video and go accomplish what I've just showed you in the video. After you accomplish that step, come back, hit the play button, and watch the next step. This way, within minutes, we'll have created a skill together. Today, let's create a joke skill. Once you're logged into your account, you can come down here to the sample projects. Today, we're gonna create a joke skill, so I'm gonna use this template. I can click on the menu bar right here, and when I do, I can see create copy. I'm gonna click on create copy. I now have this pop-up where I can put my information in here, and I'm gonna call my project the Christian Joker. So I'll just take this out, and I'll type in the Christian Joker, or paste it in there. As you can see, the invocation name changes. It's time to choose a category. So I'll come down here and I'll scroll down and you know what, uh, this would be great for children so I can choose children's novelty and humor or if yours not suited for children you can scroll down and you can choose something like novelty. But however, mine's going to be great for children so I'm going to come up here and choose the children's novelty and humor. I'm going to leave it on English but I want a much better project icon or something different. So I'll click on that and up here I'm going to just type in joke and it will begin searching the millions of icons that we have that might be suitable. Now, it's important to note, if you don't have a premium account, you may only see a few of them here. So it's worth upgrading to the premium account so you can have millions of icons and use the premium features. So since this one's for kids, I think I'll just click on the clown. Now, right here for the description, I'll update this to say Christian jokes for a belly full of laughs without the raunchy stuff you might hear every day. And I'm going to put safe for children. Great. And I'm going to hit create. As you can see, within moments, if I move this down, I have the Christian Joker is already there, ready to start editing. All right. Now it's time to pause the video, complete that step, and then come back, hit play for the next step. Okay, you've completed that step. Let's pick up where we left off. Now we can see that we have that skill ready to edit. All we need to do is find our skill. And as you can see, whenever you hover over the card, it highlights. We're going to hover over that card and click on it. Once we do, we can see our skill right here is opened inside the visual editor. On the right hand side, this is called the intent configuration panel. And this only has one intent, so if we click on that one intent, we can see that this is the intent configuration panel and we can make edits to everything. And we're gonna just take a look at those four tabs real quickly. So if we come down here, we can make sure that this information is correct. So we have the name, the Christian Joker, and it says, Alexa, open the Christian Joker, open. So this is all looks good so far, okay? and uh, the detailed description, that looks good. Now, right here for the keywords, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in jokes, and I'll put a comma. I'm gonna put in Christian jokes. I'm gonna put in maybe religious jokes. And these keywords kinda help people to find my skill. All right, this part is done. Now we're gonna come right on up here to our data. And in the data, we don't need to change anything. So we'll go to responses. And in the responses, we can see this very first box right here. Whenever someone starts the skill, it's gonna say, here's your joke. And then it's gonna begin playing one of these random jokes down here. Now remember, we just copied this right here from the one that was in our sample. So we're gonna have to delete all this. But before we do, let me open up a notepad. So I'm gonna open up a notepad or a text document, and I like to use a, a text document on my computer, a notepad, or you can use a Word document. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna come right here, and if I click on one of these, I'm just going to copy this first joke, 
and I'm going to put it in my notepad here, and it'll all make sense in a moment because I need this tiny little bit of code here, which will make a little bit more sense in just a moment, okay? So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these right here. So I'll just click on the minus button and hit delete real quick, and there we go all of the sample content that was in there from when we copied this sample template is gone. We can now put in our information. Okay, now that we've deleted all of those, it's time to pause the video, complete that step, then come back and hit play for the next step. Okay, you've completed that step. Let's pick up where we left off at. Now, we're going to create a Christian joke skill. In order to do that, we need to put in a bunch of Christian jokes, and well, I don't know a whole bunch, so I'm going to quickly come right up here. I'm going to open a new tab, and I'm going to go to Google, and I'm just going to type in Christian jokes, and I'm sure I can find hundreds of them on the internet. So if I put in Christian jokes, I can come down here, five of our favorite, and look down here, hey, look, 50 Christian jokes. So let me open that up. And I'm looking for some short jokes, and as you can see, take a look, a bunch of short jokes. That's perfect. So what I'll do is I'll open up my notepad right here and let me bring it over here and I'm simply, let me close this out and I'm gonna copy these jokes. So I'll copy that and as you can see, well that's in the way. So I'll just copy those few, go back to my notepad and I'll paste that in there, okay? And I'll scroll down and look, I'll copy these. So let me just copy all the way down. Let's see if I, how far we can go. All right, great, look, I've got all those. I'll copy those, and I'm gonna put those on my notepad. All right, fantastic. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of jokes right here. Great, I researched real quick, and you can do this for any kind of joke you want, whether you wanna make Christian jokes, whatever you wanna make redneck jokes, Cajun jokes, whatever kind of joke you wanna make, you can research it on Google and copy and paste all those jokes into a notepad. All right. That is your next step. Right now, you need to pause the video, complete that step, and then come back, hit play for the next step. Okay, you've completed that step, great. Let's pick up where we left off at. Now, remember, we just did our research and we've got a whole bunch of jokes, but now we need to put these jokes inside here because as soon as they start the joke, Alexa's gonna say, here's your joke, and then she's gonna play the joke from here. But we need to really kinda clean this up because we don't want the Q and the A in there, and we want it to have a little break. So here's what you're gonna do. Remember this little code that we got right here from our sample? Let's copy that, and then at the end right here, just paste that in at the end of every single one. Now the reason is, once you've pasted that at the end of every one, you're gonna come right up here and we're gonna back out the Q, take that out. We're gonna back out the A, okay, take that out, and we're gonna backspace so that now it's all on one line. And so if we were to read that, Alexa's gonna read it and say, at what time of day was Adam created? Then she's going to pause for one second. That's what this is. And then she's gonna say, a little before Eve. And we want all of 50 of these to be just like this. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's do that together real quick. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy my little tiny bit of code right there carefully to make sure I copy all the way from the beginning of that sign all the way to the end of this sign. And I'm gonna paste it at the end of every joke and I've got 50 of them in there, so that's really easy to do. All right, once I've copied and pasted that bit of code at the end of every question, we need to do like we did on the very first one. I'm gonna back out the Q right there and delete that. I'm gonna back out the A and I'm gonna back it up until I have everything on one line. So as you can see there, I have my whole joke on one line. Great, let's do that again. And you see how easy that is. I'll back that out, back it up. There it is, all on one line. Real easy, right? Fantastic, so now that's what you need to do. We're gonna do that for all 50, 
but I'm gonna pause this video. You're gonna go and complete this step, and then when you get done, come back, hit play for the next step. Okay, you've completed that step. Let's pick up where we left off. And remember, you went and got a bunch of jokes, and however many you want, I've got about 50 right here. And we quickly put them all on one line. So as you can see, they're all on one line and they all have that one second pause right there. And so now each of them on their own line, there is a space in between each one of them. And so we have all of these great jokes in here. Wonderful, okay? So now what we wanna do is we wanna enter these jokes inside our skill, okay? So here we are. We're gonna leave Alexa's response just like it is, but here's where we're going to put the skill. So if I come over here, I'm gonna take my very first joke and I'm going to copy that and I'm gonna paste it right here and hit enter. There you go. It's going to play that one. Now, if I enter another one, it will randomly play between the first one and the second one. And obviously we wanna enter all 50 of them in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my second one in here. And whenever I enter my second one, I hit enter and now I have two. Whenever this skill plays, it will randomly play between these two. So now I have to enter all 50 of them and that could take a long time. However, if you have a premium account, what you can do is click the truck icon. So you can upload a whole truckload of them at one time. And that's what we're going to do. So we can bulk add. I can click right here in the corner and drag this down. I'm gonna go back to my text notes here and I've already put these first two in there. So I'm gonna copy all 50 of these. So I'll go straight to the bottom and copy all of these. All right, I've got them all copied. I'm going to paste them right here and now I have all of them pasted in here, 48. Well, let me scroll up and I'll hit bulk add. And now you can see they're all up here. However, I do wanna get rid of these down here. So if I scroll up, let me just cut, remove all of those. There, that's empty, there we go. Now I can see I have all 50 of them inside here and that looks really good. All right, so now I have all 50 of my jokes in here. It's time to pause this video, complete that step, and then come back, hit play for the next step. Okay, you've completed that step. Congratulations. Let's pick up where we left off at. Now, we've already looked at the first three tabs. Here's our last tab, next actions, and there's nothing to do there. So now it's time to test our skill. We'll go up here to the black navigation bar and there's a test icon. We'll click on that. And when we do, we can come straight to the bottom where it says start skill. This way we can test. I'm gonna come right up here to our response tab because remember when we test it, Alexa's gonna say, here's your joke. And then it's gonna randomly choose one of the 50 jokes to play for us, okay? So let's come down here and test it. I'll click on start skill and let's see what she says. Here's your joke. How do you make holy water? Get regular water and boil the devil out of it. <laughs> All right, it sounds like it's working. Let's try it again. Here's your joke. How do we know Peter was a rich fisherman? By his net income. All right, this is great. It looks like by testing our skill, it works. So you test your skill. So now pause the video, complete that step, then come back and hit play for the next step. All right, congratulations, you've completed that step. Let's pick up where we left off at. Now that we've tested it and it works, it's time to publish this skill. So I can click on the test icon and it closes that out and I'll come right up here to hit publish. Now, if this is the first time you've done this, then you need to sync your account or create a Amazon developer account. Well, if you haven't done that, come right up here to the Help tab. And on the Help tab, when you click on it, you can go to our YouTube channel. When you go to our YouTube channel, come right up here to Playlist. Click on Playlist, and then you can come right here to 04, Publishing Your Skill. When you click on that, 
I'll pause that video. Right here, number two says Amazon Developer Account, and number three, link in your account. Just watch those two videos real quick, and as you can see, it's only a few minutes. Then come back here once you have your account done, and we're going to publish this skill. For those that have, let's publish this skill. We'll go right up here to the top navigation bar. We're gonna click on the publish icon. And it says, do you wanna publish the Christian Joker? You bet, I'll click on deploy skill. As you can see, it's going to work. It's now pushing everything over to our Amazon account. And as you can see, it says your skill has been deployed to your Amazon account. Great, I'll close that. Now, I'll log into my Amazon account. When I log into my Amazon account, I'll go ahead and refresh this screen. And as you can see, look, the Christian Joker, it's here. All right, it's almost ready for us to publish. Right now, it's time to pause this video, complete that step, then come back and hit play for the next step. All right, you've completed that step. Let's pick up where we left off at. We now want to get this skill certified so it'll go live. So our next step is to come right down here and click on edit. On edit, what we need to do is come right up here to distribution. Because on this one, we put it in the children's category. So since we put it in the children's category, we need to come down here and hit save and continue. And on the next step, it will say right here, is this skill directed or does it target children under 13? And since this one does, we need to put a yes right here. If yours is only for adults or doesn't target children, then you don't have to do this part. But since we put this in the children's category, we do need to tick that. And then we'll just come down here and hit save and continue. And one more time, we're gonna click save and continue, and it's going to bring us to the certification tab that's right up here. And if we've done everything right, it says zero errors found. Great, let's come straight down to submission. And now it says your skill is ready for submission. Now we can click on this to submit for review. Give it just a moment. And congratulations. Your new skill is in review, which now means we just need to wait a few days or sometimes it's as quick as 24 hours for Amazon to review our skill, make sure everything is working properly, and then our skill will be live. So congratulations. As soon as Amazon approves and certifies your skill, your skill will go live. You'll win some cool rewards and you'll be eligible to win some even better prizes that we give away every month just because you're learning how to build some cool skills on our platform. It's time for you to pause this video and do what I just did so that you could create your first skill within minutes.